I'm sitting next to the closest thing we've got uh, of a 40s, 50s gangster at Game Reactor, Jesper. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to spend uh, about 40 minutes with uh, Mafia 2, uh, playing a mission called Wild Ones, and uh, we thought we'd talk a little bit about that. And first of all, what was your experience with the first game like, and uh, why are you excited about the sequel? The first Mafia game really coupled great cinematics and great gameplay in the same game. You have really good editing and cutscenes, you had really good voice acting, and you actually had a story that was worth something. Um, it was a landmark. Mm. And, uh, and with the sequel, they're looking to uh, do the same kind of thing, but perhaps uh, give us even better gameplay. Yeah, um, as they told us, uh, they have two control options. You have Grand Theft Auto or Gears of War, basically. Mm. They concentrated on actually developing the game. The control systems are, everyone else has already done them. They didn't need yeah. to do anything new. And they really stepped it up a bit. Uh, you have a cover system. You have uh, great uh, gunplay. You, if you don't hide behind something, you will get shot to bits, basically, yeah. quite quickly as well. Yeah, uh, and, and that, that was impressive, especially for this kind of open world game. You usually sort of, you have to overlook the, the, the weakness of the, the combat gameplay, really, is to enjoy the rest of the game. But it seems like uh, they, they made that part enjoyable in, in itself. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so should we talk a little bit about the mission that we played and then about the characters? Yep. Yeah. We had uh, played a mission called the Wild Ones, which actually begins that you have to uh, get some clothes on. And, uh, <laughs> like, like every mission ever. Exactly. You can't go on the mission without your clothes on. And um, We managed to do that? Yes. Without killing ourselves? Well, actually I got killed shortly after <laughs> from a guy sitting on a bench. But um, you get into a car, uh, you go to your friend Joe and you try to offload a shipment of uh, stolen cigarettes. Yeah. And that's where the problem starts. You have that, that's when the greasers come. Yes, the greasers. Um, seems to be very much into hot rods and making trouble. Uh, throw a firebomb into the truck and uh, burns up all the cigarettes. And what way does Joe respond to that? He is less than pleased. Yeah, he shoots so. him in the face. Yes, he does. <laughs> less than pleased. Yes. So uh, that's really when the, the whole uh, mission starts and you're, uh, you're trying to... First you're trying to catch them by yeah. car. Doesn't go too well. Uh, I think you died there. Yes, I uh, was... Um, Killed by a post. Yes. A lamp post. Lamp post. Yeah. And uh, I managed to lose them straight away. I think you're actually supposed to l l not not catch up to them, and, and then the mission you have to you team up with a few other guys, and that's when it turns into a running gun game. Yeah. Very much in the same style as Gears of War. You have to move from cover to cover. Mm. Have you to go to a foundry, and you got a, a few more members of your squad. So it's, a, it's almost squad based, you move from cover, cover to cover and you shoot a few guys and then they're scared of you, so you can shoot, so they run away and yeah. that's when you... So you shoot them in the back. Yeah. It, this, this mission was meant to give us a, a, a sort of a, a look at what, what a typical mission could be like, but uh, other missions will not have the same kind of gunplay, there will be stealthier missions and the missions with uh, uh, where you aren't a big squad and you're yeah. doing different kinds of things. So. Uh, hopefully that, that variation will keep it fresh as well. Yeah, we are promised a great deal of variation throughout the game. And if you look at what the first game did, I'm very certain that they were absolutely to deliver on that promise. Mm. Uh, the first game was great variation and now they're taking it to the next level. I mean, you have better physics when it comes to cars, more options in combat and uh, hopefully uh, an overall even better game. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just so excited about the music. It just yes, just puts the whole experience over the top. Everything from uh, the sound to the music and the way the environments are made, it really you get the feeling that you are in the 1940s mm. gangster movie. So uh, very authentic. So that's where we've been for 40 minutes. Yep. And uh, well, hopefully you will all get to experience that sometime in uh, August to. October, I think, is yes. the official date, unless they push it again. Yeah. Well, my Fingers Joe Pesci crossed. meter is absolutely at top. <laughs> there you go. Mafia 2.